Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we are going to answer a question that Francis had, which he was wondering if inside of a navigation element in particular, you could set it up so that when you clicked on the button, in this case here, when you click on About Us, could you have it scroll down to any part of the page, any section, any element, anything and make that visible on the page and when you come in here to the navigation let's just open this up and we'll click on the op about us here you're going to see here it's got this custom action link okay you can also change that then to a custom url and you can put in the url but it defaults to custom action link but you click down here and it doesn't tell you anything even if you put in a hashtag it still doesn't give you any more information on that. Let me open it up here. Let's see if it's better here. Oh, okay, so here we do have a couple of things. We can open the pop-up, submit the form, or close the pop-up. Okay, it still hasn't told us how to scroll down the page somewhere. And so what I did is I went over here to this button, and I said, okay, what are we going to want to do? We want to scroll to... And you scroll to, and then it says, okay, where do we want to scroll to then? And I want to come all the way down to this very last element down here. Now, you're going to see on this very last element, I changed the name on the element to scroll here. But even if you do that, it doesn't actually help us get any closer to the solution to this. But I'll click on scroll here, and now... Um, what you will see over here on the right, it says scroll dash ID dash six Z blah, blah, blah. And you're going, okay, that's great. But why doesn't it say scroll here? Well, if we go all the way down to this very last element right down here and we click on this and we then go into the code, you can see here, I changed it to scroll here and we can just click that, set it back to where it was as paragraph. And then we come back up here and we do the exact same thing again. We open this up, and you see here now it changed it to paragraph element. So it just set it back to what it was, but it did not change this over here. So changing that name down there like you would have done in 1.0 doesn't have any effect on it. What you have to do is you have to come in here and you have to say generate an ID and then you just copy it out. Don't click this here, because if you click that there, it'll actually include the hashtag in the beginning of it. So actually, I'll just click on this here, copy it to my clipboard, and then we come over here into the code, and we paste it in. And so now there we have the hashtag in the front of it. So we can use this here, but you just have to remember to make sure you take the hashtag off the front. So now let's come back up to our about. And so we're gonna create something that looks exactly like this in our about. So let's open that up and we go about and we say hashtag scroll dash and then we paste in that what is actually the class for this element. Every single element inside of ClickFunnels 2.0 has a unique class identifier. They don't use, um, they don't use what was I gonna say, um, IDs, and make sure I have two L's in there. Uh, they don't use IDs on every element like they did in 1.0. Here they have a unique class for every single element. And if we open it up in full screen, you're going to see it up here as well. And we can change the target and all that. We want it, of course, to stay in the same window. So now let us save this, and then we will preview it very quickly. And you're going to see then when we click on the button, let's just go here first, scrolls us all the way down to the bottom. And if we go to About Us, it scrolls us all the way down to the bottom. So the trick there is, again, you have to go into the element. So whether it's a, a singular element, whether it's a row, could, could even be a column, could be a section, could be whatever you want. You have to come in there, go in here, generate that um, the ID. Let me show you on another one here. We would come in here, go there. And actually, you don't have to do those two steps. Actually, if you just highlight the element right here and just click the code right there you go straight into it then you say generate the id and then you grab this right there and tell it you want to scroll to that element now let's do this all over again and uh, because the question then becomes okay great you can do this with a button you can do it with the navigation well can i do it also with a link here so we can just come in here create a hyperlink and oops, I messed up something there apparently. Let's try this again. 
Um, let's X that because I want to make this entire thing. I'll quit opening up. I want to make this entire thing here a hyperlink and I'm just having all kinds of trouble. So let's go like that. So I want to make that entire thing. I guess, I guess no matter what, it was forcing me to make the entire thing the hyperlink. And so we have to put in our scroll dash, paste that in again. And then let's grab a hold of this here. And let's do the same thing for this image. Come into the image. And we can say here, let me see here, we got a link. So it says here we got a link or an action URL. And again, here it shows you a couple options that you have. Open the pop-up, submit the form, next funnel step, close the pop-up, or mark complete. Well, the scroll isn't in there, but we can do that. And we want to keep it in the same window. So let us now save this. And we will come over here and reload our page and we will see what happens. So now we come in here and now it sees this as a hyperlink. You get the little pointy finger and you get it to underline and that scrolls us to the bottom. And if we click on this gal here, that one did not seem to work. So let's go back in and let's see if I did something wrong. It doesn't look like I did, but let's just double, triple check here. Let's make sure we got our proper element does certainly looks like it so maybe this won't work on an image we'll see here so it should be hashtag scroll exactly what i have there so let us save this again yeah it's not even gonna let me save it so that may not work then for an image so yeah, I stopped real quick here. I checked it on some other things and that's absolutely what I'm finding here is that it will not work on an image. So it works on the button just fine. It works on a hyperlink and it works in the navigation element. But as of right now, it is not working on an image. So that's it. That's how you can scroll to any element inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. If you have any questions, just let me know.